Ladies and gentlemen, what you're, what you're watching here is a podcast. We have new equipment. And we have a GoPro in front of us. And we're recording a secondary backup because what are we? We're stupid. And we're unprepared. This is, a, this is not the podcast uh, that you're This is for. not the podcast. I like that. Right? Is that from uh, Star Trek? Yeah, it is. Sick. Hey, before we get started. We have new stickers. Oops. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold these up and Todd's going to read them. You ready? First one. There you go. Listen to the Monday Mass. Yes. I mean, it's clear as day, right? Like, right. that's pretty okay. simple. Okay, next, next one, one is... Was my nickname in high school? And where do you use these stickers? What do you do with them? You could find one in your neighborhood that's, uh, you know, a sign that says... Open hole. S open hole, speed humps. Uh, or yeah. just stop. Stop. Yeah. I, my, I heard that a lot in high school. With my nickname. Stop. Stop. From a lot of different people. Okay, next one is... Cry oh, is free. That's an old favorite from here. It's a here great one. Uh, we coined that phrase. Um, it's very, you know. We stole it. For our Brazilian <laughs> listeners, Yeah. it's it's part of the lexicon. Pretty much on Team Brazil, Yeah. I, I feel like. And uh, and this is the funniest thing that I've seen in a comment board ever. Cry is free. Cry is free. Gabriel Medina is coming back to the championship tour. You know what that means. Cry is free. Cry is free, gringos. Here we go. Oh, there you go. In a world of Jerry's, be a George. In a world of Jerry's, be a George. Uh, George Costanza yeah. is the best part of Seinfeld. Yeah. And, Fight me. And, you know, I, I, I'm a George quite often. Don't knock into the table. Quite often. I know. I'm, not, I'm trying not to. We have a, we have and, a and also, hey, thank you uh, to Davey at GoPro. We've had this podcasting GoPro set up for quite some time now. Four years. I've, I've just recently begun to use it as a by five minutes. Ago. It's been in Todd's trunk for four years, not recording podcasts, but reporting Todd's trunk. behavior. Okay, here we go. Um, also, before we get into the advertising breaks, I want to advertise something very special. This was just sent to me, and if uh, if you know anything about Raymond Pettibone, oh my, Todd, look at this. Did you, uh, I beg your pardon. What is his last so, name? So Pettibone. Pettibone. So this Raymond Pettibone used to draw. Black flag posters and graphics. He was in the punk scene in the late 70s, early 80s. But he's a surfer and he draws incredible images of surfing. Oh, you're taking the stickers? I can put them over here. Yeah. And so this is a, one of these books that you put on your coffee table. I mean, oh, wow. it's so and good. What was his last name again? Raymond Pettibone. And you can get that at, uh, you can get this everywhere. It's out soon. What was his last name? Is my nickname in high school. Raymond, don't, how dare you? The man is a legend. He's the best. And I can't wait to dig into this book. Thank you so much. That's cool. Raymond Pettibone. Let me check it. No, we're not right now. I'm just going to run a show. Keep go. Keep going. Why don't you get on your phone oh, let's and start go. texting? Let's Look at big text. Super big letters. Yeah. Todd's looking through the Raymond Chris, Pettibone. Chris, I got, Point uh, break, I called. took a fin to the head this morning. Let's see it. Do I see it? I don't see the fin. Oh my god, you're bleeding, Todd. Is it still bleeding? Yeah. It is really? You're bleeding. Todd's bleeding. Is it bleeding still? Todd is concussed, and he's bleeding, and he still came into work today. He still came into this. Do you think this. I need a stitch? Um, it looks pretty surfacey. Yeah. You have thick hair, man. Jealous? Yeah, I'm jealous a little bit. I got, uh, Not it wasn't even like a dramatic fall. Like, <laughs> no. I was just underwater. And I came up, and I just happened to be under my fin. Yeah, the cut does not look dramatic. It looks weak. But it felt dramatic, especially yeah. when you reach up and like you have to walk into my beach two miles from your beach. You going like that? I was like, oh, oh, my, is it my brain? That's one of my favorite things to do to people. If somebody barely touches you, you go, ah, ah, ah. That's like the international sign for... I'm I like, like that. Look. I'm going to do that, I think, from now on. Yeah. Did you go like this to the people in the bluff? Hey, I'm okay. No, because no, okay. no one can actually see down at my spot. No, right, you're parking lot spot. So Grandview is wide open. If you're from Encinitas open, yeah. or coming to Encinitas, Grandview is wide open. They love mm -hmm. visitors. Anyway, let's let's get some sponsors yeah, out of the way. Yeah, May 16th. And that brings me to our first sponsor, Cut You Up, the band. I can't wait. Cut You Up, the That's band. That's this Thursday with Secret Links. And what's the other the band? The Howls. The Howls. Who? And um, check it out. I just posted this on my Instagram. Or just go on your phone during the show. This is, um, this is the song that uh, Andy Irons hand-selected for his part in campaign. Do you remember that part? Mm-hmm. 
You want to know a story about the song? No. Late night with AI. <laughs> you wrote that song for AI? No. Oh. Had the song, played it for, for Bruce and Andy. Andy actually heard it first. He requested it first. They almost got into a fist fight over who was going to be able to use that Cut You Up really? song. But Andy was first, so we gave it to him. And I highly recommend all of you kids out there uh, that didn't work at Hot Topic in the early 2000s to go and find Riding in Vans with Boys. Uh, this, I mean, this isn't like a promote a my coming of stuff age story show, about four misguided youth from Encinitas, California. It's true, and we will have an exclusive Belly Up Only T-shirt available that was designed and drawn by the one and only John Herndon. AKA a grape dope, AKA one of the drummers for the legendary Tortoise. Do, and he did this tattoo on my arm. Do I have to, can, you just, can I just have one? You're on the list. Okay. Am I on the list though, for real? Because yeah. I'm going to come to the show. If you come to the show, you're on the list. As long as, you're, um, as, long as your friend uh, Brendan won't talk to me about Bitcoin the whole time. He won't. Um, on this episode of the World's Greatest my Action Sports quicksand. Podcast. We saw Quicksand at the Belly Up, and he just wanted to talk to me about Bitcoin the whole time. Yeah, that was a long time ago when Bitcoin was cool. Is cool. it still cool? I don't think after last week. Well, we'll see. It always comes back. Mm. Um, it's May 16th, 2022, and I mentioned Cut You Up's <laughs> Belly Up Thursday. That's the show. Presented by uh, the Monday Mass uh, and Action Sports Podcast about nothing. Are you going to wear a Monday Mass shirt? Uh, no. Why not? I don't wear my own podcast shirt or my own band shirt. Will you put a sticker on your guitar or something? Would you wear uh, like a Todd Richards collection No, but that's shirt? not true. We're, we're trying to like get people to be interested in this. Well, yeah. Maybe I'll, you know what? I'll sell Monday Mass merch at the show. How about Cry is Free? Just something. Cry is I mean free. anything, really. Cry is Free. Especially at one of our shows. Mm -hmm. Pedal Electric. Pedal.electric. Again, this is the best bike out. And Thanks. you know I know this Thanks, because Pedal Electric. people are, people literally are stopping me in on the road. What is this bike? And I go, here, take it for a spin. The look on their face when they come back. Gas prices still suck. You know that? Soaring. Get yourself a damn e-bike. You know, you know what? Get yourself the e-bike. Pedal.electric. DM us if you want a code. We'll hook you up. Uh, Herschel Supply Co. at Herschel Supply. You know, I found out that Herschel Supply Co. not only makes kick-ass bags yeah. and such, yeah. and pants and cargo pants. pants. And oh, they're cargo. But they have the, oh. the sickest iPhone cases. Oh, what? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, we gotta hit up Brian White. We got our guy. Okay, we can you know, look up Herschel. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now, but but you are. I'm going to email myself because I got a new iPhone and look at this case. Is that a, that's like a dad case. That huh? case is whack. Dude. Well, I just, it was the number, not, number one case on Amazon. You go by what Amazon tells you? I go, I, whatever you tell me online, I do it. <laughs> is that bad? Is that a bad way to live? So yeah, they have, they have really good iPhone cases and all kinds of other stuff. So Herschel Supply Co. See, I'm putting it in, I email myself. Email, I, yeah. How do you take notes for yourself? How do you out there take if you I want to, you, you, I, you know what? No, 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 anything. no. I have um. There's a little app, the little vanilla, uh, little Notes. yellow notepad app. I have I have some seriously funny jokes in my notes app. Do you ever tell a Siri? I got uh, it. I got it. Here we go. Siri, take dictation. Dictate dictation. I don't know if my Siri. What is Todd Richards' net worth? <laughs> I don't. Um. Yeah. Anyway. I digress. Emailed myself to yep. get a Herschel case because they're awesome. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Beanie at Apparel, BN3TH Apparel. Uh, I'm going to be, I have a bag full of underwear in my car and it's unopened, unused, fresh underwear. Yeah, you need to make I'm going to go around town. You need to make that very specific. And I'm going to give it to strangers. These are. I'm going to film it. You just don't have a bag of underwear. Anymore. I'm going to film them putting it on. I'm not going to film them putting it on, but I'm going to film them before and after. And watch that joy. Oh, my underwear sucks too. These are the best underwear. They're radically better than anything else in the world. I'm talking about Beneath Apparel. Mass at BN3TH. 20 Apparel. at checkout. Mass 20, get 20% off. Check out. And right now they're selling two packs. I just went on the Beneath Apparel website. Two packs available now because once you get one, oh, they're like the one crack free. cocaine of underpants. One free. They make you feel so good, but you want more. Trust us. 
Nanocraft CBD. Nanocraft CBD. At Nanocraft CBD on the Instagram, you can get Mass 20 at checkout. I but do not bring it to anymore. Mexico. I don't think that's they will anymore. hit you with That's negative. Tax. Let's talk about what it does for you in America. It does great things for you, but I'm just telling you, do not bring it to Mexico currently because they will hit I'm you with some fun, fun $150 tax. I'm bringing it. It's worth it. All right. It's worth it. Price, please. It's worth it. Yeah, you're crying. You're the one crying right I'm now. Just giving facts, spitting facts. Bubs, Bubs Naturals. Naturals. Bubs, Bubs Naturals. Naturals. Do people like it when we do it together? No. What were you about to say? Nothing. Collagen, MCT brain oil. Uh, this is my daily driver. Every single day. When I don't have it, you know, it's not like I get sick or anything, but I just, in my mind, I go, ah. Oh, I feel dumb. I miss my bubs. I miss my bub. I miss my bubby. Hanson Surfboards. No, at Hanson Surfboards. If you go online and you want to order anything for summertime, it's coming quick. Summertime is Kirk. just a short month away. Is Kids it? are getting out of school. No. They're going to be everywhere, no. taking up your time, getting in the way. If you want to put shorts on them, you can do it at Hanson Surfboards. That's true. Mass 10 at check. I'll get you 10% off. Do you want your online order only. Do you want to know one of the coolest things about Hanson's? Is, uh, I think they still do this. Cash for grades. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they still do that. They used to do this cool thing, and I don't know if they still do. We should ask before bringing it up. They used to give kids uh, cash for having good grades. Oh my god. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> I knew it! Are you kidding me? Why? Hold on. Can I knew it. Continue the podcast. So, thankfully, I set up my backup because Todd forgot to charge his iPad. His, uh, How's that even possible? He forgot to charge. Now you're standing right in front of the show. Oh my. So, let's get back into a pancake coffee and tea. I got my pancake coffee and tea right here. Uh, I'll tell you, it's summertime. Yeah. I might be switching over to the dark side of iced coffee with Todd. We'll see what happens next. Panicking coffee and tea, the best in the business. Youonline.com. You online.com. So many big things happening at Youonline. New studios, new vibes, new shows. And uh, it, we can't talk about it yet because it's so hot. It's like the breaking hottest breaking news. We'll tell you about it maybe next week. We'll see. I feel like it's not true. New Greens and Pure Prescriptions. Got it right here. This is your dream time uh, that Todd gave me. And guess what? They're gone. And I've been sleeping so well. New Greens is also where you can drink your greens. Um, don't, don't have time for a big salad, George Costanza. Don't well, have time for a big salad. Get yourself some New Greens. Just shake it up. Oogoop, drink it. And you're all good. Mass 20 at checkout for New Greens. Pure prescription. That was weird how it just like turned off like that. Yeah, good luck editing that. We're gonna have to get someone from the uh, IT department at GoPro over here, Steph. Davey, I don't know why it just turned off on us. Adventure IO at Adventure IO. New adventures launched daily, mm -hmm. daily. We're in one right now. And uh, let's one more time on the stickers. They're stickers, and look at them. Look at how pro those are. You would never tell. If you saw these stickers, you'd be like, wow, that's not some hey, amateur podcast making stickers. Not just for bumpers anymore. Yeah, for foreheads, stop signs. You have a bumper, cool. If you One-way signs, surfboards, skateboards, skateboards uh, swag lords. Uh, Diecutstickers.com. Diecutstickers on Instagram. And if you want to get your own stickers made, uh, maybe make one that says, you know, Todd is cry, I think would be kind of funny. Todd is crying. You can do that for 15% off at Mass15 at checkout for diecutstickers.com. Okay, what's in, what now? We have to get into this because we have a wonderful thing oh, starting today. Oh, this is actually. good. We've got seven days left for people to register for the but, Sports Management. But, you tell us about Okay, so check okay. it out. Sports Media Management is our, basically, it's like, um, how would you describe it? It's a master class where you go That's on, right. you subscribe to it, we give you... Uh, I think there's five actual talks that are two, about two hours a piece. Yeah. And we kind of guide you through the whole process if you're a parent trying to figure out how to get your kid into the wonderful world of action sports that are great. Yeah. You want to you want to pave the road from them. Well, we give you some advice on how not to screw it up for them and screw it up for yourself and screw it up for everybody. Yeah. And it's not just the legendary bona fide legend. Uh, and that's not I didn't make it up. Trends with snowboarding said Todd Richards is a legend. We Todd's have, one of your we have instructors. Guests. I'm one of your instructors as well got as, more. as two seasoned agents oh within my the industry. Gosh. Plus we have guest stars. We have Michael Spencer. He is an agent to Sean White, Gus Kenworthy, Tornier Wallace. Also, we have Tor Bright. Tor Bright gold is a guest medalist speaker? from Australia. Probably the second most famous person in Australia next to uh, the koala bear. Right. And 
When Tora talks, we listen because right. she's very bright. Also, we've got uh, Ryan, Super Agent Ryan Runke, and smart. Red Gerard. Red Gerard, another gold medalist. We have gold medalists just falling out of the ceiling. Wait, yeah. So, it's not easy to just go up and find a gold medalist and pick their brain for five hours. Unless, but, you're, unless you're in Carlsbad and, but, and you're in line. If you sign up show. for the... Uh, for the master class, yeah. you're going to talk to all of them. And, a, and way that, a way that you can get your feet wet, and I will put this up in okay. my Instagram after the show, is that today at 4 p.m. we are hosting a okay. free one about contract negotiations. Um, oh. If you guys want to check that out. And well, we'll I, put that on the mass Instagram. Yeah, we'll put that on the mass Instagram. Yeah. It's, it's kind of cool. It just kind of gives you an idea of, of what, we're, what we're all about. It's fun. It's funny. Um, it's not uh, all, you know, teacher bullshit. It's not all like you telling you like yelling at me for you know video recording and that kind of stuff. Right. It's more you. So well, if you want to know more, go to the website. Go to Todd's uh, Instagram. But it's on there, right? It's gonna be. It's gonna be on the Monday Mass. I'll put it on there right oh. now. I, oh, that will make I'll a put it on there right this now. This is not live. All right. So we're, let's get into the show. All right. So we got surf news, and as I see, oh my gosh, this is just getting seamless right here. I did an interview earlier today with a legend of our sport, and I don't. He's a legend. Travis Snowboarding told me that. This guy's, pretty, this guy's, this guy's like legend. a legend. Legend. I'm talking about the one and only, the great Sean Thompson. He's got a new book coming out. I interviewed him, and here it is. Did you see that? That was insane. That so, was some NBC shit. This is an exclusive interview only for our audio listeners. Which could literally be Sorry, anybody. video people. You're going to have to go to our audio portion uh, at um, the website in the link to uh, to see what's up. So now that was the interview with the one and only Sean Thompson. What is, I mean. Bro. Sean Thompson is one of the nicest most genuine, just smartest, awesome people. Every time I'm around him, I'm just, I'm inspired by him. And uh, he does talks around the world on the Surfer's Code. Mm. Super cool. So get that new book, um, is, The Surfer is, and the Sage. Do you know what the Surfer's Code is? I know. Have you cracked it? I've, I've yet to crack it, but I'm practicing. It's the okay. Surfer's Code is not just about surfing, it's a way of living. Mm. And we got one snippet from Sean during that. But cool. Great little interview there. Uh, the book comes out June 7th, as I said. Uh, and speaking of great books, did I did I mention at the top of the show Point Break by Raymond Pettibone? Oh, that's a coffee table book. Yeah, as Morrissey would say, the joke isn't fun anymore. Championship tours had G Land Todd. I heard it pretty soon, right? Yeah, it's a Quicksilver event, right? I know. And are you going? Are you, I mean, I was invited. Were you invited? No. Why not? Nah. Do you? You're from G Land. What's the last What's the last surf event that you commentated? Surf event? Uh, probably US Open. US Open. Yeah. With me, yeah. I remember you were in the shoe. No, no, no. Stab high. Stab high. That's pretty cool. Stab high. Okay, cool. you, you, know, just, I, you I just believe, can't. You stepped up a little. Bit. I believe they're doing another stab high. That's what I've heard. Mm -hmm. Don't know anything yet. That's a rumor. It's in the rumor mill. Um, the championship tours had a G Land starting May 28th, um, and for people, I mean. Everybody's asking. I know everyone's wondering when am I going to get back on the commentary team. I know you've been wondering. Mm -hmm. You've been dying to know. You can't sleep. You can't stop thinking about it. Well, I will be back on the commentary team uh, at the Oi Rio Pro. But before you that, are? yeah, you going to Rio? Oi, obrigado. You know, are you going to bring the sticker? Oh, I'm going to go to Rio. Where cry is free. Um, before that, though. Pretty excited about this. The ISA World Juniors event is happening in Surf City, El Salvador. Are you going to that? Yes, that starts May 28th-ish. And basically that's where you have all of the best junior surfers in the world competing for medals. They're competing for pride of country. There's uh, an overall country win winning win division. So let's say you're a surfer from South Africa you win the event, you get a gold medal. If your team wins the event, you get another gold medal. I'm excited about it because I'm I'm hyped to see like what the future of surfing in terms of competition mm -hmm. is going to look like. Mm -hmm. And so they'll all be there. You can check out uh, isa.org, isasurf.org. It's pretty rad. For more of that. And El Salvador's awesome. So I can't wait to go. Uh, did you watch 
uh, like any of the finals, the Challenger Series, any of that stuff? I did. We talked about it a little bit, right? We talked a little, little bit about it last week. Okay. Um, it was pretty cool to watch that. Do you have, um, speaking of a Challenger, Coco Ho made a return to competition. Yeah, I was going to talk I was gonna talk about that, about her new dropping? series. Yeah, should we try to call her? She's not going to answer the phone. She, she might. Where do you think she is? Let's call her at the same time and see what she answers okay, first. Okay, let's do or, that. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me cue her up here. Are you going to queue up? Contact. Siri, call Coco Ho. What do you, I have her under C Ho. I'm gonna call her first. Is, uh, she she's got I'm sure she has like managers and agents and they're not what oh where is she where is she uh, though? Oh she's she's is somewhere. she somewhere weird. Oh my god she's somewhere weird. It's the middle of the night. Oh, you're call. It's busy. Do you think it's the middle of the night? That is an international tone. Do you think she's in Australia still? Um, uh, maybe. What time is it in Australia? I don't know. What time is it in Australia? Hey, Siri, what time is it in Australia? Like. She's not answering. 536 AM. Hang up. <laughs> Good morning, Coco. No, Coco Ho has a new series out. Uh, I believe it's on worldsurfing.com. It was made by Lane Stratton. I call Lane Stratton. Sure. Lane Stratton's an awesome human being. This is, uh, this is the segment of the Monday Mask where we just call people. Yeah, we call people. Coco didn't answer, and I don't want Lane to feel like he's a second. Is Lane best. like? Will he like give short, concise answers? Yeah. Okay. He's. Have you seen Lane skate? No. He's a really good skater. Very cool. He might be in Australia too. No, he has a. He, he has a, a U.S. ring. Oh, that's American ring. Huh? Doesn't go. Boop, boop. He might. Just... So we're over two, and that's fine. Who else could we call? Kelly Slater. He's always great. Um, always picks partner up. Partner Coffin. <laughs> I know the Coffin brothers. I don't know if I told you guys that. Anyway, uh, anyway, so uh, got show it's, on w, it's on WSL's website. Yeah, WorldSurfLeague.com. Mm -hmm. um, Challenger Series is heading to Sydney. I believe that's already started. There's also a longboarding world tour event happening congruently. It's a great word, huh? In parallel. Congruently with that event. It's part of the event. Um, and this is kind of rad. You remember, you obviously remember Thrilla Gorilla. Town and Country mm -hmm. crew, right? Sure. The, the characters. Yeah. So our friends at Lurking Class Clothing have teamed up with Steve Nazar. Steve Nazar is the guy that drew the original Town and Country characters. Remember the game? California. Remember the video California game? Games. Yeah. Yes. He he drew that. He drew all of them. So there's a new collaboration. It's called a Dive Bar Collab. Lurking Class, Steve Nazar, together. For some of the best graphic T-shirts and hoodies and uh, I mean ever, and I'm getting some. Do you, want, all, do you want? You want one? I can't because I have my own collab that I'm supposed to be wearing with Where? Quicksilver uh, V X. What is it? X Stranger Things. Oh my God! You need help promoting your collab. No, I don't. Because you didn't even know the name of it. No, I mean it's but I'm it's X. It's not V. It's not like verses. It's X. It's Quicksilver yeah. X Stranger Things collab. Boom. It'd be, it'd be, you know, it'd be cool if there was like a seminar or something Todd could go to to learn more about action sports and how to promote his collaboration. At any rate, well, actually, new you know season of Stranger Things drops on the 26th of May, I believe. I, the 24th. I finally watched the Quicksilver Stranger Things. The funny um, little movie? Mini movie. Yeah. It's so good. It's kind of neat. I mean, Kano Rashi got the easiest job in that. He's mostly sleeping the whole time. Yeah. But then he went into the forest. And they were surfing. Miles, Miles um, Fallon actually was, was like a pretty decent little actor. He was believable as like a, a burnout yeah. in the 80s. Jen, uh, Jen Thavi mm -hmm. was in it. Love her. Uh, Frankie Harar. Yeah. Um, that was cool. I was really, I really enjoyed it. And I really, I liked that a brand, you know, because a lot of times the collab comes out and it's like, yeah, this and this, and all, it's together. Like, but the, the Quicksilver actually put a lot into that. Yeah, it's cool. So what do the clothes look like? And where um, are my well, clothes? Because I can wear them. It's a throwback to the old quick Echo Beach style. Oh, okay. Because that's the period of time where this new Stranger Things is taking place. They are at the beach and it's surf culture in California. They've, they've moved on from the Midwest and now they are in California. So we'll have to see what happens with, uh, um, you know, number seven. Yeah. Or 11. Not seven. It's eleven. Number seven was the previous, the three before her. 
Here we go, Chris. This is Chris's big chance to use the theme song. That's not even the theme song. That's Journey. What are you doing? I knew what happened. That was the official playlist. Okay. Stranger Things um, is at the end of the. Stop. Name this tune. Die. We've already done this. Anyways. So what, the, what, um, what, when do I get the clothes? <laughs> it's pretty soon. Yeah, like tomorrow? Oh my wow, God. I hope the mic didn't pick that up. <laughs> All right, so moving on to skate news. Do you have any? <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, uh, it was Tony Hawk's birthday. Did you know that? Yeah, Tony Hawk's birthday. He's back dropping in. The Birdman is on the comeback path like a freight train out of hell. And he is ripping, and we're stoked to see that. Uh, speaking of stoked to see that, I uh, I went full on because my, my kids are, are really heavy back into skating, which is great. So Excellent. we spent the weekend watching skate videos. Ben Rayborn, cold call. Dude. So good. How Ben Rayborn is, I mean, the best. He has a trend. He just kind of like blew onto the scene. He's all <laughs> transitional, he's slowly, yeah. transitional master. Yeah. Chomper of trans, actually all terrain master. And uh, Spanky is actually becoming one of my favorite skaters Very artsy. for a long time. And artsy Spanky. Oh my god, he's so good. He's got it out there on Thrasher. And also, our guy, TJ Rogers, and I actually have a special message. This was, so my son and I watched TJ's part together. Mm -hmm. um, you know, TJ is, uh, was, is battling cancer and yeah. kicking cancer's ass. Yes, TJ. Here's my son's review on TJ's part. He actually wanted to send this message to TJ. Hey TJ, that part of yours was insane. You did such a good job. I uh, hope you're doing well and uh, goodbye. That's, That's my, cool. my Roman talking about did he, uh, TJ's part. Did TJ part. respond to that? Yeah, he was, he was I mean, hey, how could you not love I that? I know, and hey, in other skate, skate news, right after the show last week, Yeah. Um, we had Jimmy. A block away. A block away. You should have just gone there. But it, I did. You did, right yeah, after? No, did I you get a board? I got a board now. What? Yeah. Where oh, were you? I thought you were going to show up. I was uploading the show. Jimmy I was working. I was Jimmy uploading Wilkins the show. Jimmy went pro for real. Let me tell you who was over there. Uh, Jim Tebow. Uh, let's see. Chris uh, Miller. Chris Miller. Tony Hawk. The Tony Hawk. Let me tell you who was there. Um, I wasn't even there. Max Schaff, which I... Zach Mac, Miller. Max Schaff's like one of my favorite skaters of all time. Like yeah. beach, we having Chris Miller and Max Schaff in the same room was like I was having a style freak out. Stoke bone flare up. Mike Burnett. We had all, all kinds of homies. Shay Donovan. Shay Donovan. It was good. The list goes on and on. And also Post Jimmy, Sway Jimmy was there. is dropping a uh, nine club, I think today. I'll be listening. Yeah. So I'll be go. damn lots listening of, uh, to it. Lots of Jimmy news. Um, what else we got here? Uh, do you know who Gifted Hater is? No, I feel like. Gifted hater. Now, I'm not a hater. I, I have hated, but I'm not a hater. I wouldn't describe myself as a hater. And I don't necessarily even like haters on YouTube, Instagram, whatever. But gifted hater. Recreational is, hating is pretty funny, though. Gifted hater is pretty dope. It's like this dude, he's glasses and like shaggy hair, and he's in his basement. And he's hating on stuff, but he's also, he's thoughtfully hating. Mm. And my son and I watched it, and it was a worst graphics tier. And it's funny. And I know that he probably upsets a lot of people, but he is gifted at hating. And that's just my little shout out, gifted hater. I'm sure, if, if out there, if you hate gifted hater, sorry. You're, you're, he's just more gifted at you're hating buying than into you are. It. You're buying into it. Did you see that um, Sal Barbier is now dropping some new skateboards, and he... The whole promo to it was him skating a launch ramp with like 80s flair. Oh god. It's pretty rad. Launch ramps are so fun until the day after when your knees feel like you got hit with but twin they sledgehammers. Didn't, they didn't back then. Back then, no. Now, yeah. Yeah, but man, I love a good launch ramp. What launch ramp tricks do you have? Still? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't launched Method? I haven't. Like probably. early grab method? Probably um, all the grabbers. Probably do a hippie twist. Like uh, airwalk. Back three. Probably airwalk. Saran wrap. 
I never, I don't think I ever did. I think I did like two saran wraps on Bert. Never actually did them on anything else. I used to be able to do the baton twirl, a greasy burial. Oh, that's a good one. You know what my favorite jump ramp trick was, and I, I could probably do it if a, in a little time. Is like a just a basic front side grab 360. Yeah. You know what I mean? Front side 360. Yeah, just. Yeah. But it's speak not of, that basic anymore. Speak of the devil, did you see devil. Did you see the kid fly to the bowl, his dad catches him and three seconds yes. him and puts him down? I like that. They had it in the barracks, but the barracks called it a front side three sixty. Oh my feet. god, the best thing on the barracks. The skimboarding. And, oh, in the freaking Holy zone. crap. Who was that? Okay, so it was um Nays <laughs> ah. Apparently we're out again. Dude, what's this guy's name? Well, next week we're going to have a real podcast. Um, dude, why can't I find it? He just messaged me, actually. What was it? Um, oh, God. Where are we now? Jesus, anyway, dude. so these guys hit the barracks, skimboarding, and... They just, what do you, just, like, throw water on the ground? Oh, they built little pools. They built, um, <laughs> like, they built all kinds of crazy crazy uh obstacles and then they just yeah they like sprayed the ground what the frick can we just not try to find them online on on camera yeah you don't you don't like when i do that no <laughs> doesn't make any sense i don't know if it's on the barracks yet but i saw it on the barracks because that's that's how i saw it you saw it on the barracks it's on the barracks instagram oh my gosh don't go there i'm not going there we should all go to the barracks though because that was sick and so, hopefully we'll, cool. we'll be able to talk to one of the pro skim boarders that went there. Skim lords? Skim, skim ass lords. Oh, that was the best. Um, That's all I got for skate news. I mean, we don't need to do a two hour show today. Ever. Ever, really. But especially not today. Especially since my uh, brand new five... Why do you think it keeps turning off? You What's did, your theory? I think you did something wrong. But what is your theory, though? It's plugged in. There's plenty of room on the on the card. We're stupid. That's the theory. That's and that's a proven theory. But we the are GoPros stupid. are idiot proof. I see idiots in the water with them all the time, strapped well, to the nose of their board. We what's can't worse do than it? an idiot? Two. You? <laughs> the jerk <laughs> store called. Um do you have any snow news? Um besides we have stickers. Which can you can put on your snowboard. I feel like I you know what? I do have some snow news. Okay. But it, it tacks on to last week's snow news. Oh. Right now we start talking about where can you still go snowboarding. New Zealand. No. Copper Mountain in Colorado. Arapaho Basin in Colorado. Okay. Mount Bachelor is going bananas. It seems like everyone is back at Mount Bachelor. They still have that Wicked Peace Park set up from when I was there a month ago. Tight. And then Mount Hood. And then if you are wanting to go and work at snowboard camp, they are still hiring at High Cascade Snowboard Camp. You can spend your whole summer wiping kids' noses and getting a chance to get sunburned worse than you've ever... What, what is that? Is that the skimboarding? Yeah, you Adrian Naza. Adrian, Na Adrian Naza. You found it. Dude, it was right in the middle the of telling best. everyone how to go and get jobs at High Cascade. You want to just dip skimboarding in there. I know, because Aaron, Aaron deserves it. Okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. That's like pretty that. sick, though. Yeah. Look at that frontside disaster revert in the flats. It's so good. Cool. It's so good. Hey, yeah, uh, if, if you guys are. Um, Blair Conklin was there, too. Cool. Oh, we don't have a skimboard. Should I try to call Blair? No. I don't think, it, I, I can't call him. Blair Conklin's my favorite, one of my favorites. He's cool. Blair I love Conklin. those dudes. Um, so you were talking about skimboarding is over? <laughs> Snowboarding. Snowboard. Well, you can get a job working at the camps. I, and they're I, hiring. I, I, I missed the whole snowboard news. There wasn't much. Okay. You can get a job. <laughs> if you want to snowboard somewhere, just, uh, just Google it. Just or Google. Just call Todd. Yeah, just Google snowboarding. Um, uh, actually, Squaw Valley is still open. Or Squaw. I should say... Uh, it's not that Palis anymore. Palisades at Tahoe. Thank you. It's still open. Todd, if, if, if can our listeners uh, direct message you and just ask sure. you where to skimboard? They do all the time. <laughs> Snowboard? D skimboard? What's your favorite? Where are you going to go skim? What's your favorite Diverics? skimboarding beach uh, in Encinitas? Um, Grandview. Really? <laughs> it's open. <laughs> There's a parking lot, plenty of sand. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Skidmore and United Needs is tough because it's pretty flat. It's not steep enough, right? Um, Wooden Sea, Marine Street, La Jolla has good skimboarding. Um, Aliso Pier. Uh, these are not the secret spot? spots. Where's Aliso the hot Pier, spot? That's um, in Laguna, yeah. Laguna. And you know what? Actually, on uh, Adventure IO, tied back around, you can go and get skimboarding lessons from Blair Conklin, who is. I like to. I think of him as like the John John Florence of skimboarding. They have a very similar style, and he is out of this world good. He's so good at surfing too. Oh my, he's just so good. He's you know he's really good at skimboarding at the barracks. Cool. Shout out. Shout out. Nerd news is brought to you by Panic and Coffee and Tea. I got one bit of nerd news. I, I watched a. Uh, I got some nerd news. Great movie, um, called Dog. Uh, Channing Tatum. What's it about? Who I like. What's what do you name? think of Shannon oh, Tatum? That's about the, the see. I was so like a war dog. Right. That, yeah. The the dog has PTSD. Yeah. Both Shannon and the dog have PTSD. And you know what? This always brings up my favorite quote about dogs. It's like, who saved who? What? Who, who saved? Who rescued who? Who saved who? Who's zooming who? You know, it's like the dogs saved you. Did you save the dog? What kind of I mean, who saved who? What, Am kind I of, right? what kind of stuff is going on um, this summer? My dog's not here, by the way. No, where, yeah, where's Pi? Pi is uh, at work with my wife. Has Pi stopped uh, trying to bite everything? Um, I mean, she doesn't only she only bites like uh, things. She never has been a person. No, I know, but like, is, is the dog still teething? Um, I mean, mostly just her toys. She just chews on her toys, mm -hmm. That's as good. do I. We both do you that. Chew on her toys as well. Yeah, I chew on her toys sometimes. Hey, uh, listen, I have some good hey, nerd, listen, nerd, I'm listening. nerd news. Listen, I'm listening. listening. So I've been, you know, been on this quest to buy my daughter a car. Yes. And I finally figured out, like, I'm getting, I got her a Volkswagen Golf. Tight. Sensible. I love those cars. Cool little car, first car. Yeah. I got it through Car Carvana. Carvana. Have you ever heard of Carvana? Yeah, it's like I, a vending machine. Apparently, right? their stock is taking a shit. But why? I don't know. You just bought a car. You think that would help? Like Todd Richards is using Carvana. I but think that would send stuff. Their stock whole, the like their whole thing is that like it just eliminates you having to talk to a salesperson. Okay. And I don't know, man. I'm, I've I've known people that have worked at dealerships my whole life, and your friends I just, are dealers. I just can't get over like the whole like they try to sell you like the. Uh, the extended warranty. The extended seat protection warranty. Just this the the weird. Kind of shady, not shady. Well, I guess yeah, that's no, fucking shady. So, you know, what's your Yelp review on Carvana? Pretty fucking good, dude. I bought the whole car. It was like it was like buying something on Amazon. Really? Yeah, they basically just you know you say I want this car. They say okay, here's the price. No haggle. Boom, bang, boom. You link up your bank account. You buy the car. You go to the vending machine over here. In our case, it's over here in Escondido. You show up. You go inside. Some dude that is like just working there. He's like here, sign these papers. Zibbity zibbity zibbity. And you you're, you literally oh I saw you put a coin yeah, in. Yeah, so they give you like this fun. novelty coin. Yeah. You put it in, and it, it's like a it's like the claw machine from the claw. And you get a car, and then it shows and you up. Get a car. And, and zoom. But anyways, awesome. I thought it was really neat. And That's then I cool. was I was shocked to hear that their um that their stock's not doing well. Uh, people don't care about stocks. They don't. Um, Are you looking at some more skimboard posters. videos? Huh? Questions. Do you have any questions? Yeah. What do we got? Uh, we got some. Okay. Uh, but I gotta go to. Uh, I gotta go to my other. Uh, my you gotta other go to the Monday Mass yeah. Instagram. Oh, I gotta say congratulations to Monkey Jam and to um, Juvenile Seagulls, number one and two in this weekend's Battle of the Bands, Lucadia 101 Main Street. Oh yeah, how's that? Did you watch? Did you go watch? I judged. Judging. Judged. My son won, won his Battle of the Bands. Judged his kids. A long time ago. Anyway, okay, got? I got questions. This is from Willie and Pietro. Willie and Pietro oh want to know, Todd, is right. Meep a grumpy cat? No. Or is that just how she photographs? No, Chris, will Pi cat. get her, his own Instagram? Um, my cat is not a grumpy cat. She just has a smoosh face. Oh, a smooshy little face. Um, yes, my cat, uh, my dog is a girl, and she has an Instagram called Pi the Black Lab, I think. My son made it. We got a question, audio question from Hater McBader. You ready? Oh God! I need to put that on. What does it say? How do you put on speakerphone? Dude, what happened? How do I put that on speakerphone? I don't know. This pretty much has come and gone, and as we put another one in. Here we go. What up, Monday Mass, Todd, Chris. Hi. Um, Hi, 
Hater. Snowbird seasons pretty much has come and gone, and as we yeah, put dope. another one in the books on uh, what was a uh, very crazy year with the Olympics and all that jazz. Let's go. Get to the question. Uh, writer of the year. Oh, oh. And, and it's, uh, My rider That's from of Hater the Hater. Who's my rider of the year? Your startup disc is almost full. If we lose the audio oh my God. and the video, that is not good. Answer the question. Who's who's my who's my rider of the year? Yeah. I am going to say um yeah, 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 we're yeah, good. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Are we still going? Yeah, we're going. Who's yeah. your rider of the year? I'm gonna Christ say my rider of the year is um Zeb Powell. I agree. Zeb Powell. He made a big splash yeah. this year. And he did it creatively. He didn't lean on contests. He didn't lean on spins. He just leaned on being awesome. He just came, cool he came in like a wrecking ball. All right, I got a question from Michael Hale. What you got? What do you say to the people that ask, how was it when you just surfed two-foot closeouts? You know what you do? I basically ask them a question well, how you think it was yeah how do you think it was bro <laughs> no you, here's what you say for me epic for you don't even do it wow that's pretty cool yeah you know what now that i think about what it about, what about i'm going one? back out there and you need to stay on the beach and watch me surf take some notes and then maybe paddle out what about when someone asks you a couple fun ones out there Couple fun ones. That was a uh, old Instagram yeah. account that they were very I mean, active for a while. Yeah, I haven't they, seen they it. They would just post in your in your off every post that you have. Couple fun would, ones. Couple fun ones. Question mark. Um, yeah, but like what would you say? If someone said couple fun ones out there. I always I always I can't help but say that. Yeah. How was it? Couple fun ones. I'm also uh, optimist. That's kind of like the um, hi. How are you? Or like the so. Well, the best part about couple fun ones is it's a question and an answer. Mm -hmm. Couple fun ones? Couple fun ones. Fuck. Right? Fuck? Fuck. Fuck. Okay, here we go. This is from Hanali. What she got? Oh, we have audio questions? Yeah. See if you can figure it out. Not going so good so far. Um, what Chris is doing is he's trying to, he's attempting to push the play icon. <laughs> Maybe it's that your grandfather's case that's prohibiting you. What are you doing? Well, why isn't it playing? Because it's broke. You unliked it? No, I'm trying Play. to like it. Turn up your volume, moronski. It's on. Okay, we can't hear it. Maybe that question, uh, sorry, Hannah, I, 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 I thought I couldn't do it. Um, sorry. Tried. Any more? Um, Zed Mac is really stoked on his board. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Hey, and uh, you know, Cedric de, Cedric de Costa says, trying to use your CBD code, not working. Figures. Ugh, we're not going to do that, this, to be honest. Um, well, maybe they're, they're, are they still aware that we have a CBD code? We're not that. Chris Lowry ordered a sticker pack on its way. Um, I'm just, oh, does the mass ship overseas? Well, our little ship pile, AKA the UK. I, I like the UK. I like the UK too, but like you know, uh, I'm gonna tell you what, we ship overseas as long as you pay for shipping. Yeah, I don't. Cause sometimes it costs like to, to send these send sticker. four stickers will cost like $30. A hundred at least, yeah. So if you pay for shipping, we will ship anywhere. Anywhere. Anytime. How's that sound? Yeah. All right, that's a, a, we almost, oh, we're a one minute away to an hour. Okay, that's cool because next week I promise this is going to work. I, I have my, I'm recording. I brought, I brought it. It I didn't brought work. It, but I brought mine. I got to call GoPro. Maybe Gimbal God will come in here and just sit here for an Pro. hour. GoPro. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Monday Mass. Like and subscribe on that thing. Or not. Maybe this isn't the best episode to even like or subscribe to.